plant community thanks for tuning into this channel if you're new here welcome my name is Pam and for those of you who keep constantly continuing back to watch more and more of my episodes thank you as well so this episode you guys is what are we thankful for and um, for those of you who live in this country in the United States we do tend to celebrate um, a holiday such as Thanksgiving and it's just more or less giving us an opportunity to really appreciate um, family friends loved ones or anything that really sparks and bring joy um, in our lives and so we just take one day to kind of remember um, the joy that any and everything can bring our way now of course um, as always I always recommend we should be thankful each and every day um, so I'm just taking this opportunity because I am very grateful for um, the plant collection that I have, um, I guess, maintained and increased throughout this year. And so I wanted to spotlight at least 12 plants, you guys, that I feel that I am um, thankful for, for various reasons, you guys. Um, and it was really hard for me to do this because... I try not to keep track of the number of plants that I have in my collection because I feel like the knowing the number will possibly make me feel overwhelmed but I know for a fact that I have at least over 200 plants in my collection and so streamlining it down to 12 uh, because all my plants really bring me joy I say at least to be honest probably a good 95% of them really bring me um, great joy but so it really took me some time to really think about some of these plants um, and what they mean to me. So I just wanted to bring you guys along um, this series or this episode and just share some of my thoughts with it. So in no particular order, you guys, I'm going to start off with the first one. And I can't really stress this enough, you guys. And I know y'all probably are tired of hearing me talk about this. But this is the red Maranta, the prayer plant. And I'm actually talking about this plant first because if you have watched my um, episodes, you know that this, the importance of this plant, this plant is very special to me um, because it was part of a, a funeral arrangement that I received when my brother passed a few years back now at this point. And so it started out with just two leaves. Um, but it's very beautiful. And the reason why I'm really thankful for this plant is because this plant because of the background I just shared with you guys, um, it's a constant reminder to me of remembering the ones that have moved on, but also to appreciate the ones that are still in your lives, the family members that you do have, the friends that you have, and it's just, I just love this as a constant reminder, and I think of that every time I look at this plant, and I'm extremely grateful, and I feel extremely thankful when I look at this plant. So it's a plant that provides me form of joy and for that reason alone I'm extremely thankful for this but look you guys these growth points it just won't stop growing and I look starting to trail now I love it love it love it love it let's see now my next plant before I show this plant to you guys the reason why I picked this plant is because I personally feel that this plant is like the quote unquote underdog in the plant community. It was hot when it was hot and then it faded away and now you don't really hear too many people talking about it. You actually hear a lot of people, well, at least I have, been hearing a lot of people um, not really caring too much about this plant. But I think it does deserve a spotlight for a particular point in time and that would be this philodendron uh, Birkins. Now, I don't know, you guys. I really love this plant. Um, I grab plants that talk to me particularly. Sometimes people do buy plants because the, it's the plant that's in at the time. And maybe, you know, people fall out of love with it, and that's okay. But it still draws me in. I, I love the plant when I first seen it for the same reasons that I'm loving it now. Because of the creaminess of the leaves, the veination or the... The subtle lines in the leaves this one is a really really um, lighter specimen you guys and and it's very easy care I got a I don't even know if you can see that new growth growing right here and I have it sitting in my dining room it's underneath of a sand scene light it's getting some slight subtle light from my window where it sits underneath but and for some reason it's still maintaining the um, 
color. I don't know. You, I think at this point that this plant is probably um, underrated. I think it's a very beautiful specimen. Um, the foliage alone, you guys, is green, but like I said, with that subtle of white. If you really had this plant in the middle of nothing but just all plants that represent just pure green leaves, this plant would really stand out. I think it's a stunner. Um, it's very easy care. I would recommend this plant for a newbie if they wanted to have a little spruce of color in their collection. But I am thankful for this plant because it provides me with so much joy even though it seemingly seems to be like the underdog. And I don't know about you guys, but I kind of like feel sorry a little bit for the underdog. And whenever they get an opportunity to shine, I want to be right there to egg them on. So I don't know. Maybe it's a little corny, huh? What you think? Uh, moving on to the next plant. Let me start with this one. This is my Peperomia Ruby Cascade. And I am extremely thankful for this plant because I actually had this plant one time before and it was growing beautifully. And I actually had it like hanging on the wall here and it was long, you guys. It's, I think it was here and it was trailing all the way down here. I don't know what happened with the plant. Be honest with you, it, one day I literally was watering it and I touched the top and the whole root ball completely just broke off and I wasn't able to do anything but salvage just a couple of leaves from it. Um, and I was so distraught and disappointed but I think what I did wrong is possibly overwatered it at that point. So um, I'm trying my second hand in and again and so far since I've gotten it because when I first brought this plant it trailed but it trailed only towards the rim, the bottom of the pot. And now as you can see, it's kind of beneath the pot. I love it because it's so whimsical looking, you guys. It's very beautiful in the green. And of course, those ruby backs. It's just a very beautiful plant, I think. Um, possibly an underrated plant. I don't know if a lot of people is talking about this plant. But I really do love it. Um, I'm so glad that I have it back. Now I'm grateful that I have it back into my collection. My next plant... I am thankful for because this is one of those plants, you know, you ever see plants that you, that you really don't have on your radar or anything like that, but the second you do see it, you're like instantly in love with it. And that's how I feel about this plant. And this is the um, Philodendron uh, Tahiti. But you know what, guys, let me know. Is this just, you know, sometimes we have like different names for the same type of plant. And I don't know, is this is this actually a Tahiti or is this like a um, a Philodendron Maui or, I mean, I really don't know. I think I'm gonna actually probably try to look into that to see if there's any difference and if there is an actual different species of the plant. But nonetheless, you guys, I just love plants with leaves with jagged edges or anything like that. It kind of remind me of um, like an oak tree leaf. I just, I think it's very beautiful. You know, it's subtle beauty. And it has like this dark lines in the back. And I just love the dark stems. Um, very beautiful plant, you guys. What do you think? I am so thankful for this plant. And I can't wait for it to really grow up and grow out I mean it really would give me almost check all the boxes in my tropical vibe that I'm actually looking for I don't know y'all let me know what y'all think about this one my next one I am extremely thankful for this plant you guys because I've been wanting this plant for some time um, like I said if you've been watching me if you've watched my unboxings and things like that you know how important this plant was to me and I'm so glad that one the price came down and I was able to afford it and that would be my Hoya Polynera very beautiful plant you guys I am loving it um, I only had it I don't even know how long but I haven't had it very long at all and I know like I said we're approaching it's fall right now you know so I don't really expect it to start showing any sign of growth people have told me that they've had experience of it growing kind of slow but then I've also seen success success stories where people say that it's kind of been a fast grower for them. so I can't wait to see what kind of grower this will be um, I'm trying to give it as much premium optimum condition as possible still have it in this nursery pot I just put it in this little cash pole 
and I don't know I just love the vibe of it I love leaves that give me different shapes um, and textures throughout uh, my entire plant collection you know you don't want to keep getting those plants at least for me I don't want to keep getting those plants that's similar in leaf size and shapes and textures and things like that and over time I mean if I had 200 plants that almost looked the same that would be extremely boring in my personal opinion so you know I really am satisfied with the differentness in plants my next one is also a Hoya but I had to shine the spotlight on this one and I'm really thankful for this. This is my Hoya Finlaysonii. I am loving this plant. And at first I fell in love with it because it reminds me of the Callista Phyla, which I do have recently acquired in um, my uh, plant collection and I do love very, very much. Um, but this plant, you guys, the Bay Nation on here. I don't even know if the camera is so light in here, bright in here, I can't see. Oh, but I think it is picking it up up here. Now, these two leaves, you guys, just came in. I'm so excited. But I want to show you all something. Okay, so this is my little makeshift trellis right here that I've created. And I had looped this tendril down here. But then I looped the initial tendril over and I clamped it right here. This thing, you guys, the tendril continued growing and it found its way back to itself and now it spiraled. Can y'all see that? It spiraled itself along the top. And I didn't want to take it out because I'm just curious to see, okay, what else are you going to do at this point? And so I kind of like left it there and this did this before these leaves came. And then all of a sudden I started seeing little baby buds. Um, little baby leaves right here and it just turned out in a matter of days to be um, this size. I have it currently sitting in here in my sunroom. It's sitting right here by my southwest facing window. Southeast facing window, sorry. And it's just getting all of that beautiful light and it tends to love it. But I am madly in love with this plant. I'm so thankful for you. <laughs> I'm really thankful for this plant. <laughs> Guys, you know what? I laugh at myself because sometimes I can be just downright silly, but that's just me. You know, I like to have fun no matter how goofy or childish it may seem. But anyway, next. Okay, let me show you this baby right here. I am thankful for this plant. This mini Monstera. Uh, because, guys, look. Let me show you how full it is at the bottom now. It's full because it was getting tall, um, but it was getting um, long internodes. And so I kind of like cut it because I want to make this plant bushy. I'm really extremely thankful and grateful for this plant because it took a while for this plant to kind of like start taking off and actually growing. Uh, when I first brought this plant, it was declining, you guys, and I didn't know what was going on. And I got scared, and I took the plant apart, what little bit that was left, and I just had it rooting in um, water because I, I, I realized that the roots system was not as strong. It wasn't as well established as it should have been. And I mean, I had this thing sitting in water for a good while, you guys, and literally, I had almost given up completely on this plant, which was amazing, and... The day that I was about to say, you know what, I'm just going to take this wet stick out of this water and just toss it in the trash, count my loss, yada, yada, yada. And when I was actually pulling it out, I had noticed a growth point. And I was like, I was in shock, you guys. I was like, is that a growth point? I was like, oh my gosh, it just appeared out of nowhere. So, you know, never give up on your plants, right? But ever since then... I was super excited it just kept growing and growing so I think what it is with this plant is um, this tetrasperma is it's slow to grow but once it starts growing at least that's what I'm thinking it is slow to grow but once it does start growing it really can kick off and be very power powerful and as you can see it's surpassed my um, 
moss pole which I need to add an attachment to it um, unfortunately this leaf I don't know what happened when it opened it didn't open completely and it ripped off I just kind of left it there but we do have new growth right here this is also a new leaf as you can see that emerged as well as the latest new leaves that was this one as well as this and I do have some new growth actually growing down in the bottom of the pot if you could see like the light green leaves around there but I really love the aesthetics of this and I'm just so thankful that this plant has made a complete comeback let's see another plant that I'm thankful for <laughs> and it's crazy I guess I'm, I'm more or less thankful that someone took the time out to think about me and <laughs> let me show you this is my Syngonium. This is a plant that my husband gifted to me actually last Christmas. So it'll be a year probably in the next couple of weeks actually because I know he gave me this or brought me this plant. It was around the um, holiday season. It was for Christmas but I do believe I got it maybe a week or two before um, Christmas. But I really love this plant and really it took him actually buying me this plant for me to really appreciate and actually get into syngoniums um that before i even when i didn't even have this plant it was only one syngonium that i actually had my eye on at the time and that was just the cardi road one but i didn't have any you know information on it and at the time it was kind of pricey so i wasn't really um jumping into buying a plant with high prices and i wasn't even sure of the care but anyway, when my husband gifted me this plant, um, I really learned how easy care syngoniums are. And, you know, I, I fell in love with them ever since. And so I'm, I'm really thankful that I did get gifted a plant, a new plant that I did not have in my collection. And I got a chance and opportunity to learn about it and and because of that it just sparked my interest to move on to other syngoniums so I am extremely thankful to my husband as well as this plant for that but guys I just don't know which one it is because at first I thought it was the um, when I first got it I thought it was the go glow and now you know it, it just gave me so many different vibes like which which leaf is it this one almost remind me of the batik is that what it is batik but I know it's not uh, because the other leaves are so much lighter and like I said the key to this you guys is and I probably just touching the top soil of this I probably need to give it a drink but the key to this is to not let you let no no less than one inch of the soil go dry and then you give it a drink you don't have to um, douse it in water um, especially now since we are in the fall season now of course if it was in the summertime you guys I probably would um, give it some water until it drain all the way through but for me you guys um, with my comfort level I give it just a, a little bit of water at the, at the top and it seems to love it and I think I'm gonna start trying to um, see if I can get something inside to keep this moss pole um, a little bit moist but I have it sitting in this little gray pot here um, as a cash pole but guys it's continuously growing because it was just growing out so wide and spacious so I had to wind up putting it on this moss pole that I made and ever since I mean it's still been just nothing but growing I have constant new leaves right here I have another new growth um, peeping out right here you guys so this plant never ceased to amaze me and it never disappoint me and I'm so thankful that I have it in my collection now let's see because I haven't been going in no particular order, so I did cover those. Ah, let me start here. This plant, if you've watched my, by now I believe I had my um, Equigenera unboxing update video posted already, I think. If I have and you guys haven't had a chance to watch it, please watch that when you get a chance. I think it's kind of cool. It shows all sides of being a plant parent and what to expect when you are um, importing plants. Now, this is my Philodendron Gloriosum. I'm extremely thankful for this plant because when I did get it from Equigenera, you guys, it had very beautiful leaves, but all the leaves completely died off. I have it growing in um, Lekka, as you can see. 
and the root systems are is nice and healthy but most importantly um, outside of the root system I'm just glad that I'm finally seeing signs of growth and it's giving me this leaf as well as this leaf it's so easy care I have it sitting in my dining room underneath my Sansi light where the majority of 95% of the light is coming from the artificial lighting and it tends to love it um, and since I've actually I think did that Equigenera update um, this leaf I have a new growth right here and I'm so stoked about it I, I'm super excited I can't wait for it to unravel and open up and then I'll finally have three leaves um, I'm hoping that this is just the beginning of what is to come with this plant it's such a beautiful plant I just love the velvetiness of the leaves um, very beautiful foliage indeed and also too what I really love about it is that deep white veination that's stunningly beautiful in the middle of this plant. I'm so glad and thankful that not only do I have it in my collection but I was able to get it at an affordable price and that even though it did decline drastically that it is coming back and showing signs of hey I want to live too. So I really appreciate that. My next plant spotlighting this plant you guys because this plant was on my wish list and honestly I waited until the price came down I could not believe that the price finally came down for me to even get this plant um, and I'm talking to some of you guys I know y'all are still looking for this plant so it made me feel even more grateful and thankful that I did have a part of my collection and this is my philodendron burl marks the variegated version now I think also too by now you guys I had uh, my houseplant tour I believe video out already if you haven't had a chance to look at that look at that you can see the latest updates with all my plants at least inside my home um, but anyway um, I brought that up because I have the regular burrow marks and if you look at that video you see how lush and tall and full it has become and I'm hoping my goal is to get this plant to actually be the same but look you guys it is just oh god it's beautiful and I had to get this plant, you guys. Um, I got this. I got this plant from Equigenera, but not overseas. The one that's actually here in Florida, and they actually had this plant. I couldn't believe it. It was forty dollars. So I was like, I had to think. I was like, uh, uh. I mean, I got this plant probably a couple of months ago now, but I was actually debating. Like, should I get it or should I wait? And I was like, you know what? You're probably not going to get it right now, in no time soon any lower than that price range and I'm so glad that I did get it because it came in such a full full plant it looks like it's like one stem but it has so many multiple growth points and down at the bottom you guys all of these new growth points that's the beautiful part about the burrow marks philodendron that I love so much I mean just look at the foliage you guys this is just beautiful I just love it I mean I really could I don't know I you know call me a geek call me whatever you want to call me but I really could just look at these plants for hours and just get away in my head oh look at this one you guys I don't even know let me show you this this camouflage looking leaf let's see this one right here that's beautiful that almost gives give me um like a hozo bueno or what's the other one I think a Hoso Bueno vibe for this, which is another plant I wouldn't mind having in my collection. But I digress. Look at this beauty. I'm so thankful to have this in my collection. Now I have two more plants. And let's see. This plant, you guys, I am extremely thankful for this plant for so many reasons. Um, before I show it to you guys, this plant since I've had it, when I got it, it was in a six inch planter and it was literally at the base of the plant, the base of the pot. So it, it wasn't trailing yet, it didn't overflow yet or anything like that. Ever since I've had this plant, since I've had it, I've had it almost going on two years now, but it's never disappointed me. Um, 
I have the watering down pack because I just know when the leaf starts to wrinkle, it's time to give it a good drink. It's never given me any trouble. Um, thank goodness I haven't had any pest problems with this plant, this plant, and I hope I'm not jinxing it by saying all these accolades on this plant. Uh, because sometimes it tends to, when I bring plants to y'all and I talk about it seem like seemingly on cue, you guys, like, uh, give it a week or so after I did a video for you guys. The plant starts talking to me and starts showing us behind. And I'll be like, what did I say? What did I do? But nonetheless, it is my Peperomia Hope. And what a name. Um, it's very befitting because this looking at the growth pattern on this plant, it gives any plant parent hope that they can grow all their plant babies into this beautiful, long plant. So long. Look, you guys. I mean, look at the length on this. All these stems. And I have it still wound up numerous of times on this makeshift trellis and it's growing out you guys i am just really in awe and amazed um about this plant and another thing too is oh no damn go on it i tell you occupational hazard when you do these videos I took it out because I did not, and see, I usually leave it in my um, macrame because I did not want to disturb it, but I said it's growing so beautiful, I had to bring it to the full front for you guys to see it on the video, and dag it, I hurt the plant in the process. I just realized from talking to you guys that this stem actually broke off. How disappointing, but, let's see, look at that. Y'all fill in the blanks, but that's where I'm going with it. Um, so it's okay. Um, darn. What I'll do is I'll just have to pluck these lower leaves off. And I'll plop it back in the dirt. And hopefully it'll take root. Because, I mean, that's what it's been doing. Um, for the most part, you guys, there has been times where I've knocked a leaf or two off. And I stuck it back into the pot. Stuck it in. Forgot it. Kept it watered. Keep it moving. But I am so thankful for this plant. It's almost closing it up look at that doesn't it look like somebody just peeking through a garden here just imagine come down imaginary lane with me guys <laughs> this is beautiful <laughs> this is beautiful <laughs> you know <laughs> the more and more i talk to you guys i notice the more and more of me <laughs> comes out i really can put on a show when i want to look i'm about to Okay, let me put this plant down because see, I see, I see where this is going. I'm not trying to, you know, and I think moving forward, yep, I think moving forward with this plant, you guys, if I talk about it, it's just going to be have to be talked about um, via um, a little video on the side or a photo at this point because I do not want anything bad to happen to that plant. I would be totally distraught. But I'm going to put this um, little specimen back in the um, pot when I'm finished with the video. So speaking of finish up the finishing the video, I'm ending it. And let me make sure I cover all 12 of my plants first before I show you guys this last one. Two, three, four, five, six. Why do we do that? I can't, like, I can't count this side. But anyway, okay, this is my last plant, you guys. And I am in love with this plant. Um, almost not even on purpose it kind of like played itself to be that way these last two plants that peperomia hoping now this plant the same scenario you guys when i got it it was it was hardly trailing i've gotten it for probably i've had this plant for i want to say two years now never had any issues with this um plant um so far so good never had no issues with um pests or anything um, I do my best with spraying this particular plant down, so that could also be the reason why. But nonetheless, you guys, I absolutely love this plant. I'm so thankful that I have it in my collection. It always amazes me. It always maintains that eye candy. I love the foliage so much. And that is my Hoya Crimson Queen. 
look at this you guys and I have it in a hanging um, pot now if y'all watch my Hoya video I shared this with you when I had it in one of my hanging um, ceramic pots and when I pulled it out I wanted to show y'all how crazy and funky the root system was and the root system was growing through a clear plot pot and it was so long it was actually the trail of it was ridiculous so if you didn't see that on uh, my my Hoya collection video go check it out because the root system was absolutely amazing you guys and I said then that I had to pot it up but I just recently potted it up and so unfortunately I had to cut the pot because I did not want to sacrifice any of those beautiful long healthy roots so I had to sacrifice and cut the pot to up pot it and I have and I put it in because it this pot was too big for me to put back in that ceramic planter what I did do is I just decorated the pot real quick I just did a quick little funky decoration and it's a, on my plastic pot and I put it on here just to hang it but you guys look at this, this plant is beautiful and here we are in the fall season and what did it do it bloomed for me again this plant look at those blooms avid it has been an avid bloomer for me I mean isn't I mean it just opened up I think a couple of days ago but look at it is absolutely gorgeous look at that and look at that white I mean I love the feel of it it has this like soft matte finish on the back of it with this very when it's well watered it's nice and firm and sturdy and the variegation on it I mean guys look at that it's just this is absolutely beautiful this is adorable like it just don't get no better than that and then I said to top it off with a bloom that smells I mean if y'all had Hoyas blooming some people I haven't had a, a stinking smell one yet I'm curious to know what that smells like even though I've heard of people saying some of them produces smells of something else but this one is just oh my god it's just so beautiful you guys oh, smell that with me ah, you smell that floral arrangement mmm Hoya take me away <laughs> but nonetheless you guys I gotta stop clowning around this pretty much ends my episode here if you have any plants in your collection you guys that you are very grateful for you're thankful for comment below and let me know what they are the variety and, and you know if you want to as a fun fact share with me if you don't mind why you're so thankful for this plant now I do want to say before I do my usual ending I am also thankful for you guys so without you guys giving me the positive vibes the nice comments I love chatting with you guys um, y'all really make my day believe it or not and you know just sharing my whole plant collection with you guys and going through this journey with you is really therapeutic for me I hope that some of the things that I'm sharing with you guys maybe I'm therapeutic for you I don't know y'all can let me know but um, you know I'm just grateful for all of y'all and I just want to take this opportunity to say many 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 and many thanks so this is it for the video you guys keep in mind if you love foliage as much as I do and you love listening to planty things recommend highly please subscribe to this channel you give me a big thumbs up or thumbs down any way you want to vote it is up to you I appreciate your support either way enjoy your day you guys wherever you are in the world and until next time guys much love <laughs>